Today, we have the latest 8th Gen 3 phone, the OnePlus Ace 3 Pro. And honestly, after testing this phone, it's really a nice phone with great gaming performance and an unbeatable, big 6100 mAh battery. But I'm still pondering whether it's worth buying or not, because, for just a tiny bit more money, you can buy the OnePlus 12, a phone that ships with better camera and screen and a USB 3.2 plus more. Anyways, let's see how this OnePlus Ace 3 Pro performs first. Like almost all OnePlus phones, the ACE 3 Pro comes in the same red packaging with a USB-A to USB Type-C cable, 100 white charger brick and a transparent phone protective case. The Ace 3 Pro actually comes with three different back cover materials, this time with ceramics, vegan green leather and glass. The vegan leather version being the lightest. The Ace 3 Pro has a similar design as the OnePlus 12, similar camera module and micro-curved screen. But, if you look closely, the camera design has changed quite a bit. It removes the bracket structure next to the camera and puts some lines there instead. Personally, I'm not really a fan of OnePlus camera module design, but honestly, I'm completely used to it. The design is at least quite recognizable as a phone made by OnePlus. I got the green version, and I personally like this bright color, but I must admit that the green version of the OnePlus 12 is more refined. There is a vegan leatherback cover on this phone, which also has this leaf-like a vein structure on it. The ACE 3 Pro has a metal frame, and the meal button has been kept so you really can pick on it in terms of texture. It also has a high-quality linear motor that provides a very fine vibration. The ACE 3 Pro uses a curved 1.5K resolution screen, and if you only look at the front, it's hard for me to tell it's part from the OnePlus 12. So in terms of hand feel, the ACE 3 Pro maintains the same high standards that OnePlus has been known for. I've also summarized some of the features we all care about for you here. The ACE 3 Pro uses Snapdragon 8th Gen 3 and has a very good performance. It performed even better than the OnePlus 12. In the Gangan Impact test, it runs the game at 60 FPS almost the entire time. So, I was very happy with the game experience. On top of that, it has a constant resolution. In a frame interpolation feature, I tried it, and I was able to get 120 FPS game experience. We all know that OnePlus 12 did more than that, though. We all know that a frame interpolation has a latency, and you have to wait for two frames to be rendered out before you can do the calculations, which is dictated by the principle. This time, the ACE 3 Pro has teamed up with Gangen Impact Electric Use. I could barely feel the latency, which is great. But since it requires a partnership with a game company, this is currently only available in the Gangen Impact. In other games with the frame interpolation turned on, the latency is no different than any other phone. And one thing to know here, if the phone's temperature gets high, when the frame interpolation is running, then the frame rates will drop from 120 to 90. In addition to Gangan Impact, I also tried the newest and very popular Withering Waves, a game known for its poor efficiency. So, it was more challenging than Gangan Impact. I ran it on high graphics, but not the highest graphics, and the average frame rate was a 57 FPS. But due to the poor optimization done by the game company, the 1% low FPS performance is still not good. So, the actual gaming experience was not that smooth. But of course, this is not this phone's problem. So, there's no doubt that the ACE 3 Pro has an even better game experience than the OnePlus 12. The bigger battery also allows it to run games longer. As for other less demanding games, that's too easy for this phone. The ACE 3 Pro uses a BOE 1.5K screen with LTPO support, a manual maximum brightness of 800 nits and a full screen peak brightness up a 1600 nits which is slightly less than OnePlus 12 but it's still a very good screen in terms of dimming, DC-like dimming for media and high brightness 2160Hz PWM dimming for low brightness. The ACE 3 Pro's main camera is the IMAX 8-90, an old sensor from the ACE 2. The ACE Megapixel Ultra Wild Camera and Micro Camera are not quite competent. You can take this phone as only having a main camera. The other two cameras are more of a decoration. I also tested the performance. The main camera is not bad and is perfectly fine for everyday shooting. The biggest highlight of this phone is, of course, the big 6100 mAh battery, which is not only thinner, but also bigger, 
Thanks to new materials in real life use, it is amazing, and without a doubt, the strongest battery performance of any normal phone I've tested. In addition to the large battery, the Ace 3 Pro also supported 100W fast charging. It only takes 38 minutes to fully charge this battery. Gaming phones don't even have this crazy performance, so, it is a pretty obvious here. If you want a phone with a great performance, a very big battery, and don't care about that much about the camera, then the Ace 3 Pro is a great fit. But, if you want a more balanced flagship, then, a OnePlus 12 is now priced right.